Hey, I'm Sam. Welcome to Urban Goods. Today we're going to make this Shoshugi Barn dining table. Let's go. Hey guys, for this project I'm going to use pine. It's really easy to get and you can get it at your local hardware store. When choosing my timber, I chose ones with a little bit of blemishes so when you do the Shoshugi Barn, the burning of the wood, you can get really nice contrast in between the grain. I chose to get 135 by 35 millimeters. It's a perfect thickness for a table. You don't want it too thick, otherwise it's too heavy to carry around. First thing I'm gonna do is throw it to the thickness planer to reduce these ridges on the timber. These ridges are about half a millimeter thick. It's unfortunately one of the things you have to deal with if you deal with construction lumber. I'm using my Ryobi thickness planer. You can get it at your local hardware store. It's an awesome little thickness planer and uh, I really recommend it. I'm hooking up my Milwaukee little vacuum here. It's a bit of a ghetto setup, but uh, anything to get rid of a little bit of dust I'll do. This part takes quite a while, but uh, definitely worth it to get some really nice flat timber. I'm using my Bosch planer just to take off the edges so I can get a really nice sharp edge. This is the kind of edge you want. Perfect right angle, really flat, Great for making table. After that, I got all my timber, laid it all out and designed how I'd like my table to look. I spread out my blemishes so that everything would look even. I got my doweling jig and I drilled in the center of all the sides of the pieces of timber to put my dowels in. Using a biscuit joiner would be so much easier, but I didn't have one, so dowels it is. Now for the glue up. I use heaps of glue, make sure you put glue on the dowels when you insert them into the holes and uh, start joining them. The next day I took all my clamps off. After that I flipped the table so I could start looking at how I'm going to reinforce it. I chose to use aluminium C channel. I chose it because it's super light, really cheap, and I didn't want anything too heavy. I drilled holes all the way throughout the channel so I could screw them down to the timber. I chose to get some 25mm screws to screw the aluminium down to the timber. I use 80 grit sandpaper to start sanding down the lips between each join. After that I used my Ryobi orbital sander and I did 120 grit until everything was nice and smooth. I grabbed my circular saw and I trimmed off all the edges so I got a nice crisp line. I used my trim router to get a nice curved edge. To do my shoshugi barn, I decided to use a weed burner and those portable butane gas cans that you use for camping. They're like super cheap, $4 for three cans. Firstly, I started burning the underside of my table. You won't see this, so I'm not too fussed on how this looks. All right, now we're on our pretty side. Firstly, I started burning the edges and working my way to the center of the piece. I didn't go too dark because I wanted just to get the right amount of contrast in between the grain. This is super fun, but make sure you be careful you are using the flame. I chose a nice blue stain to stain it after I did my shoshugi bun. 
start applying the stain to the edge and I'm using a little foam brush, it worked great. This is what all the legs look like at the end. I'm super happy how this turned out. It looks so great. I love the contrast between the blue and the black and also the pine. Thanks for watching the video, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe as well. There'll be heaps more videos like this coming out soon. Thanks.